Welcome to this week's market drama. We'll begin with the markets. Uh, the S&P 500 was down 0.3% for the week. It is out now up 16.3% year to date. NASDAQ was down 1.9% for the week. Year to date is up 30%. Uh, the drop was led by the Magnificent Seventh, right? The mega large cap stocks are down 5% this month in August. Uh, in essence, the part of the market that have led the way higher are now perhaps the ones taking a breather here. When it comes to earnings, second quarter S&P 500 earnings are likely to uh, hit around negative 5% year over year for the third straight quarter of negative earnings growth. The back of this year is expected to see positive earnings growth, but I think what the market is also looking at is when you look at consensus 2024 earnings growth, you, it's now up to 10, 11 uh, percent growth. Right. So the expectations are to, for a big bounce back next year. This has to do uh, to a certain extent with the idea of a macro being much better than people originally expected. Right. It's been GDP has held up. Con consumer has held up. Uh, and I think that's reflected in, uh, in some of this earnings expectations. When it comes to CPI, right, which is the other inflation is the big, other big driver the markets have focused on. We had July CPI inflation numbers, which were largely in line with expectations. Headline CPI came in at 3.2. Expectations were 3.3. Uh, when it comes to core inflation, came in at 4.7, which was right in line with, with expectations. Uh, the market reaction was largely muted, which perhaps tells you that the sign that the market had, had priced in some of this good news already. Uh, the on the more negative headline side, producer price index rose 0.3% in July. Uh, the core rate uh, rose by the same 0.3% in July, month over month. Both were slightly above the uh, expectations, right? So not as strong of a number as the CPI number. And just bigger picture when it comes to GDP, uh, markets seem to have now embraced the notion that the economy has avoided a recessionary period. We've seen more of these like rolling recessions, right? Rolling parts of the economy that that had uh, uh, a bad period, such as, for instance, manufacturing. But the consumer has held up, which is why this week, when we look at the economic data points that are coming up, uh, July U.S. retail sales will be an important one to keep an eye on. If the consumer stays healthy. Uh, GDP is 68, 69 percent driven by by the consumer spending. So that will be a key indicator uh, for the economy in the coming quarters. That's it for this week. Stay tuned for next week.